What is up, grade tens? How are you all doing on the second week of home study? I hope that uh, most of you had a chance to look at the first lesson and um, from last week, and now you're ready to move on to week number two. So let's talk about week number two, shall we? So I'm here in D2L, and um, if I go to content, um, by the time you see this video, week number two should be live, so it's going to be right underneath week number one, and if you weren't here for week number one, you should definitely go here first on week one and do everything that it says here. But week number two is going to be another typical week from home where we have um, a note. Um, we have the tkinter grid template code this week because we're going to do a couple of tkinter programs. It's been a while since we've done those. There will be a live chat on Monday, April 13th, uh, between 10 and 12 if you want to join me. Not mandatory, just in case you have any questions. All right, and then at the end of week two, there's going to be a Dropbox as well. Now, it's been a while since we've done tkinter programs, so I've also included a couple of demo programs here as well. So here's a demo program that uses a thing called a list box. Now, these demo programs are not ones that you have to do. Um, you can certainly try them just to see if they work for you, um, but um, they're just there for you to read and sort of figure out how to use different things. So for a list box, um, you can see the code here. It's really a simple little program where um, we keep adding numbers to a list, but if we try to add, add the number seven, it's going to say, I said no sevens. So it's a silly little program, but you can try it if you want to to see how this box works. Um, we're going to code along together with the first assignment with list boxes, so you can wait to do that with me in a few minutes if you want to. There's also a demo program that uses check and radio buttons. Now, you might not remember this, but we did a program similar to this in class before March break, but that was a long time ago. Um, but this shows you how you can use radio buttons to choose different grades, and you can only choose one. And check boxes, you can check as many as you want of the different sports, and then when you hit submit, it gives you some information here about how many credits you still need to graduate, and then the sports that you chose um, from the list up here. All right, so there's all the code for that as well. And again, this isn't a mandatory program. Um, we did something like this at school, but if you have time and you want to try it, then by all means, go right ahead. All right, so let's talk about this week's um, assignments. I'll just go straight to that. Now, the slideshow from week one is also the slideshow from week two because we're still in ifs for one more week, but I want to spend some time looking at some tkinter programs. So if we fast forward all the way down to, um, where is it here? So there's the assignments from last week, cell phone and grade that hopefully you've submitted to the Dropbox. Um, but the very next slide, we look at part two, which is GUI programs with tkinter. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time today um, first of all, designing this assignment, which is an Olympic weight program. All right, now I think I've got this uh, zoomed up to a bigger size, or maybe I don't. Um, let me just take a look here for a second. Uh, huh. There we go. Okay, so we're going to start by designing this um, up close. Now, it may be a while since you've done tkinter, so you may not remember how this works, but with the tkinter grid system, we're looking at rows and columns, right? So I'm just going to draw lines here. So this would be a row, and um, this would be a row, and then this would be a row, and then this big thing here, actually, no, this would be a row, and then this big thing here would be a row as well, where all these list boxes are. All right, so that's a total of like five rows. Okay, now going the other way, we have three columns, right? We have a column going this way, and a column going this way. All right, so we have one, two, and three. All right, so we're going to spend some time just designing this first, and then maybe in a second video, um, we'll you know complete the code for this. Okay, so because I don't want these videos to get too long, today's lesson might be a little bit longer than 20 minutes because we have lots of work to do. All right, so let's see if we can make this in um, Python using tkinter. All right, so I've got my Python ready to go here. And I'm going to start a new file. All right. Now you guys remember, um, hopefully, from before the break, when we do a tkinter program, we can always start with the tkinter template. All right. And it just so happens that I have that right uh, here. Okay. The tkinter grid template code. All right. So I'm just going to copy all of this into my new tkinter program, which is right here. 
All right, and then as we build this, maybe we'll just keep looking at this for reference to see if we can um, get it looking something like this. All right, so um, hopefully you remember a lot of this stuff. Um, I'm just going to go through it quickly because I want to make sure you know that you don't get too lost. So with this grid code here, this template code, we can do some basic things at the beginning, like we can um, put a title up here if we want to, Olympic weight program, just like that. All right. Um, we're going to skip the desk for now. We're going to go straight down to making widgets. All right. And I'm just going to make them by category. So we need, a, these are labels. Remember labels, athlete name, athlete weight, lightweight, middleweight, and heavyweight. So those are five labels that we need. Okay. So um, you can call them whatever you want to. Um, so I'm going to call them like name label. And then I'm going to call one um, weight label. And then I'm going to have one called... Um, LW label, that would be for lightweight label, and then middle weight label, and then heavyweight label. Okay, and these all basically are made the same way, right? So we're going to go equals uh, label, right? And then we're going to say uh, text equals athlete name, okay? And um, we're going to make them all that way. So I'm just going to copy and paste this line. And, um, you know, if you, uh, if you need to pause the video, if I'm going too fast, then certainly go ahead and do that. Okay. All right. So then I'm just going to change the words of these. So athlete name becomes athlete weight for this label. Okay. And then these ones are all going to say lightweight, middleweight, and heavyweight. So lightweight. middle weight and heavy weight. All right, so those are all the labels that we need. Um, what else do we need? We need two entries, right? So we got name entry and weight entry. Those are boxes where we can type information in. So I'll just come down here and I'll make those next. So I'll have like name entry equals entry. And I'll have weight entry equals entry. Okay, and that's all we have to do for those. All right, we have one button, so I'll just call it the add button um, equals a button, and the text is going to be um, add athlete. All right, and then later we're going to have a command for it so it does something, but for now that's good enough. All right, now then we've got these things called list boxes. Now you've never seen these before, but they're very easy to make, they're very easy to work with. Okay, so we'll start with the light box, middle box, and heavy box. All right, so we just go like this. Light box equals a list box. Okay, and that's basically all we have to say. Okay, and then um, mid box equals a list box, and um, heavy box equals a list box box. All right, and um, so that's all the widgets we need, and then we just have to place them on the grid, okay? And we've got this little guide here that I've kind of drawn up that kind of helps us figure out where everything goes. It's always really helpful to have either in your head or on the screen a picture of what it is you're trying to build. All right, so um, let's go row by row here. So in the first row, we need um, the athlete name, and then we need the name box. Okay, so this dot grid row equals columns equals, I can basically copy and paste that all the way down here. Okay, so I'm going to need a whole bunch of these, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there's 11 things in total that we are gridding. So what do I got here? I got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, so we're just going to go through and we're going to fill this in for all of the things that we need. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is the name label. Okay, maybe I'll just go down here and I'll just qu quickly type out everything that we that we need. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so then we need the um, add button comes next. Okay, and in case you're not sure what I'm doing here, so this is going to be row one, column one, and this will be row one, column two. All right, um, on the next row. We basically have the same thing, right? So we have um, 
we have the weight label, and then we have the um, we have the weight entry. And I just realized I made a mistake here, guys. Um, this up here should be the name entry, not the add button. Name entry. All right, so we got the first two rows done. On the third row is just a button all by itself. So this is where the add button goes. Add button dot grid. Um, this will be row one. This will be um, we'll say we'll say it this way: column one. And we're going to say column span equals three. Okay, because we want it to be centered across all of the columns. We could have also said you know row three. Sorry, that should be row three. I'm really messing you guys up here. So row three, column one. Column span three could also be row three, column two, and it could just sit by itself in that one column. In fact, we could do that. Why don't we just make it two just to keep it simple? All right. Now I just realized I forgot to do the row column up here, so we'll just quickly go in. This will be row two, column one, and row two, column two. Right. So we got that part done. Um, okay. So now we're on to the fourth row, which is where those three labels are, which are the LW, MW. So LW label, um, and then there's the MW label, and then there's the HW label. So these are for lightweight, medium weight, and heavy weight. All right, so these are all in row four. So row four, row four, row four, and these would be columns one, two, and three. All right. And then we're left with those three lists, okay? Light box, mid box, heavy box. Okay, so um, light box, mid box, and heavy box. Okay, these are all in row five. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. So row five is the row that's got all of these. Okay, and then they are in columns one, two, and three. Okay, so we should be able to run this now and sort of see what it looks like. It's not gonna do anything yet, and it won't look quite as good as it could because we don't have all of our padding in place yet, but there's enough here that we should be able to get an idea of what this is gonna look like. So I'm gonna save this first of all, because I haven't done that yet. And hopefully you guys have a, um, a place where you're saving it. Um, I have a folder on my uh, desktop, so I'm just going to save it to my desktop for now. Okay, and I'm just going to call it um, Olympic Weight. And I'll save. And I'm going to try to run this thing. Hopefully no errors. Mm-hmm. There we go. Got to hit the right button. Okay, so list box is not defined. I wonder if it's because it needs to be um, a small b. So what I can do really quickly is I can go to my sample demo programs using list box, and if I look at this, yeah, it's sure enough, it's a small b, not a big b. Okay, so that's not a big deal. Let's go back and fix that really quick. Um, so that should be small b, small b, and small b. All right. So I'll run that again, and there we go. Okay, now it looks a little bit different because I'm on my Mac, okay, but that looks not too bad. You know, I can live with that. I might want to add a, a, some padding to, to so it doesn't go right up against the wall here on the other side, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Okay, so why don't I just add a third column of padding, okay, and again, this is just to make it look nicer because we have three columns, right? And we have, what, five rows? So let's do the same thing to the rows, too. So I'm just going to, like, um, copy this row here. And I'm just going to paste it. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. And five. All right, so then that should, that should look pretty good now with a bit more spacing around things. And there we go. So yeah, I am pretty happy with that. 
All right, so let's continue with this and we're gonna finish off by actually writing the code that makes this work. So the way it's supposed to work is you type in a name and it weight. And then when you hit add athlete, it's gonna look at the weight and decide which of these three lists it should go into. Okay, now the question has the weight limits for each category. We also want a fourth option, which is basically if it's not any of those weights, then the athlete's disqualified. All right, so if we just quickly go back to the question here for a second, so that's in the slideshow. Right, and hopefully you guys use this little quick menu here to get to the slide you need to get to really fast. Okay, so here it is here on slide 14, the Olympic weight program. So 80 to 120, lightweight, 121 to 180, middleweight, 181 to 240 is heavyweight. All right, so let's see if we can incorporate that logic into this program here. All right, so back to my Python code I go. And so for this, I'm going to need a def. So I'm just going to put def, uh, we'll just call it add athlete. That's going to be the name of my def. Okay, now before I forget, because I'm going to forget later, I'm going to add this command to my button right now so that it'll work right away, hopefully, when I get to that stage. All right, so if I go down to the button here, the add button, I'm just going to quickly add command equals add athlete. Okay, and that's all you have to say. And now when I click the button, it'll run any code that's up here. All right, so the first thing I need, guys, is a couple of variables to read in the data from these two boxes, okay? So I'm going to have a variable called name, and it's going to get its information from the name entry box. So the way we say that is we say name entry dot get, okay? So get the, get the data from name entry and store it into name, all right? And then on the next line, and make sure that these are all tabbed in, right, because they're part of a function, um, we're going to have weight, and this is going to be a number, right? So we have to put int in front of it. And then we have to say uh, weight entry dot get. Okay, so remember it comes out as a string, which is fine for name, but this is a number, so we have to wrap it around an int to make it a number. All right, so now we have to just use an if statement to decide which of the lists it goes into. All right, so the first thing I can say is something like if weight is less than 80 or weight is greater than, um, I believe it's 220. Right? And then instead of adding it to a list, we'll have a pop-up come up. So this is a message box. We've done these a few times before. Dot show info. Okay, and I'll just put like error as the caption. And then I'll put uh, a message like athlete is disqualified. Okay, and so that way if I enter a weight that's one of those two ranges, then rather than adding it to a list, it's going to... Um, basically pop up an error message. All right, so we can just try that part to see if it works properly. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run this and make sure that I can get that to work. Okay, so on purpose, it doesn't matter what name I put in for now, I'll just put Joe, but if I put in a disqualifying weight, so that could be weight under 80 or a weight over 200. Actually, I think it's 220. We'll fix that later, but for now, we'll just put in like 280. Which is, which is too high on the, on the heavy side. And if I say add athlete, okay, I get this error that pops up. Now, I'm doing this on my Mac. On your Windows screen, the style of these will look a bit different, but basically that's, that's what it is. All right, so, so far, so good. All right, so I'm gonna add an L if, and if it is between 80 and I think it's 120, um, then we're gonna add them to this lightweight list here. Let me just go back and double check. Um, so 80 to 120, okay, and it goes up to 240, so I'll fix that as well. All right, so I'm going to do the lightweight, and I'm going to leave it for you to figure out middleweight and heavyweight, and then you're basically done this program and ready to upload it for marking. All right, so let's go back to the screen here for a second, and um, I believe it was 240. Okay, so now let's see if we can add somebody if they're a lightweight. So if I say something like um, L if the weight is greater than or equal to 80, and we have to say weight less than or equal to, actually it's less, one, less than 120. As soon as you hit 120, I think you're qualifying as a middleweight. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to add them to the, the first list. Now we haven't done this before, so um, I'll show you how to do it. So how, to insert something into a list, here's what you do. Um, we want to go lightbox dot insert. Okay, and what do we want to insert? Um, where do we want to insert is at the end. So we put end first, because that's where it's going to go. And what we want to insert basically is the following. 
um, we'll say like name percent s and um, maybe we'll put uh, their weight as well weight percent d okay and then those are two placeholders for the name and the weight okay so that's a little bit of a tricky line maybe pause that to make sure that you get that in there okay so so the way a light or sorry a, a list box works is use the insert command and n means to just insert it at the end of the list okay and this is what we're going to insert at the end of the list okay name and then we have a placeholder for the person's name and then an arrow and then weight and then the person's weight or the athlete's weight all right so let's see if that works so i'm just going to hit run and this time i'm going to on purpose have a lightweight athlete so i'm going to make his name joe again and i'm going to make him qualify for lightweight so 110 would work just fine okay so there you see his name right there so name joe weight 110 okay um <coughs> i'm not sure if that's the same output i had here Okay, so it looks like it's just name, arrow, weight, without the word weight. So we can quickly fix that as well. Let me just come back here and do that. So um, just get rid of the word weight. <coughs> so it just looks like that. All right, so I'll just run it one more time. Okay, and this will be uh, Billy, whose weight is 100. So name Billy 100. In fact, I don't even think the word name is there. I think it's just the name of the athlete, isn't it? And then an arrow and then their weight. All right, so we could even fix that up and just cut it down to percent %s, arrow percent %d. All right, so I'm going to stop there with this program because um, I want you to figure out the two other LFs, okay? You should be able to do that using the other weight categories and inserting into the other um, lists. All right, so... We'll stop this and make this part one of the lesson, and then we're going to do a part two where we're going to do something similar for the pizza program. All right, so when you're done this, you can upload it to Dropbox and then run the video for part two, which we're going to do um, for the pizza program. All right, so see you when you're done this assignment. Good luck.